Hi guys, today I'm going to walk you through the quick process of changing a crystal on a ladies Rolex presidential model. Here I'm going to open the case up, take it off, we're going to remove the auto winding system. There are two screws in this particular model, I'm going to take them both out. Pull out the auto winder, put that aside. The next thing I want to do is remove the uh, stem and crown. There's a little push pin that releases the clutch. Just push that pin in and the crown comes right out. There are two case screws that hold this in. You're going to turn them clockwise to tighten them, which actually loosens the movement from the case. Now I can twist it and pop the movement out. Now with this model, there's some broken glass stuck in the watch, so you want to be careful you don't get it on your pad or get cut. Here I'm going to remove the, the hands from the watch. I'm going to put some plastic over it. My hand tools to pick up the hands without damaging the dial. Put the hands aside. Next thing we're going to do is just kind of dab off with some Rotico um, any glass fragments that might be left in the dial. This particular dial has diamonds and gold settings, so you want to make sure there's no glass stuck anywhere in the watch itself. Once that's done, I'm going to use a razor blade and I'm going to wedge out the bezel very gently. Uh, obviously, obviously, you don't want to get cut here. Uh, and the bezel is 18 karat gold, so we don't want to scrape it or damage it in any way. You can see now I've released the bezel, which kind of lightens up the pressure on the gasket and the crystal. I just put the crystal in my hand. You can see the broken parts and you'll notice that the gasket, the little white part, uh, still stuck onto the watch. We're going to pry that off. Next. Whenever you change a Rolex crystal, you should always change the gasket. So here's the new crystal and I'm just going to Make sure it's the right size, double check it, and uh, get my fingerprints off of it eventually because I'm going to get my fingerprints all over this and so will you. So just keep that in mind. Now I like to, uh, once I fit the crystal onto the case, I do attach the bezel, but I put it on very lightly just to hold it in place. So you're going to see me do that here. taking the crystal and the crystal is attached to the gasket so I'm going to pressure fit that and try to line it up as best I can. Once I get it kind of where I want it I'm going to put the bezel back on but not push it in all the way. Just tight enough so it holds everything in place. We'll probably remove the bezel. Um, I almost always do to uh, reseat the crystal just to make sure it's lined up the, uh, the bubble the date bubble is lined up over the date indicator on the movement. You can see here I'm just cleaning the crystal out. I'm using some lint-free cloth and I always use my air blower to uh, blow out any dust or debris that might still be in there. The next thing we have to do, obviously, uh, I've taken the hands off of this. I didn't need to, but I wanted to get all the glass particles off, so I did take the glass off, or the hands off. Uh, the next thing I want to do is reinsert the stem and crown into the watch. The reason for this is I'm going to need to set the hands on the watch uh, when they're at the 12 midnight position. So I'm going to reinsert the stem and crown. And then I'm going to make sure everything's in there correctly. And now I'm going to set the time until the date changes. In this case, it'll change to 31. And now I know I'll, I'll be at midnight. Next step is to put the hands on. First, I'll start with the hour hand. It's the lowest hand. You always set the lowest hand first. Once I get the hand on, then I'm just going to line it up so that it's pointing perfectly straight up. And then we set the minute hand. 
These can be kind of tricky because you have to get that lined up with the hour hand perfectly. They have a little play in them. So don't be too worried if you don't get it perfectly aligned. Uh, you can kind of take it off and, and realign it again. I'm using a stake tool with a hole in it so that I don't do any damage to the center staff and post. So when I set the minute hand, then I always turn the uh, the time one hour to make sure that the minute hand is not rubbing against any diamonds, that the hour and minute hand don't touch each other. Last, we'll put the uh, second hand on. Once the second hand is on, then I push the crown back in. The watch, uh, as you can see, starts work, working perfectly. I usually give it a couple of minutes to run around and make sure that second hand is not going to rub against the minute hand. Uh, the, the pattern of those is important. From there, I'm going to remove the stem and crown one more time. I'm going to push in the clutch release and the stem comes right out. You don't want to push too hard, not to damage it, just enough to get the stem out. Now we're going to put the movement back in the case the opposite way we took it out. So we're going to line those screws up. There's two little indents in the case where those case screws fit in. Once you get them lined up, then just twist it, put the stem and crown back in. Again, we're going to push the clutch in. And while I'm doing that, I'm actually twisting the crown just to make sure it seats correctly. And I always give it a test and make sure it's working perfectly. And in this case, it is. To tighten the case screws, which I'm going to do here, we unscrew them or turn them counterclockwise and that will tighten the movement into the case. Not all Rolex models are like this, but uh, most from the 90s to the mid 2000s are. Or mid 2010. It's hard to see in this light, but uh, the watch is working. Now here, what I'm doing is I'm going to remove the bezel one more time because I didn't obviously line up the bubble on the crystal correctly. So I'm going to pop that bezel off and get that crystal lined up perfectly with the dial indicator for the date. that back on the case. We're going to turn it and make sure it's lined up. I didn't get a good video angle of that, but trust me, it's lined up really good. And now is the final fitment for the bezel. I'm going to push this on and uh, I almost always use a case press to put these bezels back in place and tighten them up permanently. have it because of a little OCD we got to clean that crystal out now's a good time to set the correct date and time so I usually do that as soon as I'm happy with the fitment and once everything's done I'll just uh, set the time and let the watch run I usually wind it so that it'll run at least 24 hours and uh, always check the crystal make sure there's no debris in it because if there is you do have to take it apart get all that debris out thanks again guys for watching this short video this is uh, basically changing a crystal on a ladies rolex presidential model uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe. I try to put out uh, at least one video a week, sometimes two or three, and I hope you like them. If you uh, want to, you can help uh, support this viewer watch channel uh, on Patreon by going to our, web our website and hitting the support option on our website. Check it out, www.myjewelrybench.com. Thanks and have a great day.